Hello and welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you the fire text effect. So a couple of things to get ready are you'll need to have an image of some flames and you'll need to get yourself a, a blank background. So file new and then edit fill to fill with black. Then select your type tool, ensure the foreground swatch is set to white and then type the word of your choice. Then I'll use the move arrow here and transform to scale uh, my text, so making it a bit bigger, double clicking to commit and then just repositioning. I'm going to go to create some FX, so bottom right FX and blending options. First we're going to work with outer glow, so selecting outer glow and we're going to change the colour here to a nice bright red. I'm going to set the opacity to 75% and in elements we're going to set the, the size to 12. Um, then we're going to move to colour overlay. Now with colour overlay, the colour wants to be a nice um, nice bright orange. Then we're going to move to satin. And satin, we want our colour to be in between the red and the orange, so almost a sort of dark orange there. So clicking uh, OK. Opacity is going to be 100%. And the blend mode needs to be set to multiply. Okay, and then moving down to distance. Checking distance is around about 10 and size is about 15. Then we're going to move to Inner Glow. And with Inner Glow, we're going to um, set the, the colour to a nice dark orange. So clicking on the swatch there. Um, so actually moving a little bit towards orange, maybe a sort of a dark kind of yellow effect would probably be best for this. So clicking OK there. Opacity is set to 100. OK, so just checking, checking that. And then down in Elements, you set the size to 10. There we go. So clicking OK. Then we're going to rasterize our layer so to open up some more effects we're going to be using. So right click on that layer and go to rasterize type. Then we're going to use our eraser here and we're going to just remove uh, parts of the, the top of the image here. Now actually I'm going to undo that because it might work more effectively if you try lowering the uh, hardness right down uh, using a bigger brush and just fading out part of that, the top of the text there. That's going to help a little bit so you can randomize it a little bit there. So erasing parts. Now we're going to use a filter effect on this. So we're going to go to filter and distort and zigzag. Zigzag, we want the amount to be about four, the ridge is about four, and style to be pond ripples. So click in OK. It's going to add a wavy effect. Again, you can increase that effect uh, if you wish. We're now going to bring in our fire image. So using the move tool, click, hold, and drag, and drop into our image here. Um, once we've brought that in, we're going to position and then hide the text layer. So taking that away for a, a few moments. Ensuring our fire layer is selected, we're going to go to our channels layer and we're going to select our green by holding command if you're on a Mac and clicking on that layer to make a selection. I'm going to go back to our layers palette and I'm going to go to edit and copy, create a new layer and edit and paste it onto that new layer. Okay, so we're now bring that in. I'm going to bring back our flames layer and turn off that fire, so the main fire image. And you can use the move tool to, to reposition it. So we've got a nice effect forming there, so you can reposition that. Um, now, a few other things you can try really to, to make this a bit more effective is playing with the blend modes. So screen might help to give you a more realistic effect, so that actually nice, nicely brightens some of the highlights there. Then if you duplicate this layer, you can then uh, move to different positions. You can try different things like transforming. So you can try rotating. So we're trying to randomize the effects a little bit. That looks pretty good. And again, we're going to duplicate again. And we're going to try to transform some more. So scale to change the size. And you can use transform again to uh, rotate. So all in all, trying to achieve some, some variation in our effects. Um, so it's up to you sort of how, how much you do this. And you've got to sort of have a little bit of artistic license and you know, play around with it until you get the effects that you, that you, uh, you, know, that you think look really good. Um, so you can also play around with opacity just to sort of fade some areas in and out. So that looks pretty good. And you kind of keep working on this as, as much as you, as you wish. But obviously be, be careful and know when to stop. So I think I'm going to leave that there for a sec. That's great. So 
Uh, last finishing touches, if you like, you make sure the top layer is selected. Hold shift, select the uh, bottom of our fire layers. We can then place them into uh, a new group. There we go, so to tidy up a little bit. We could then effectively layer mask parts out, so using the brush, checking black. Um, you can then change the opacity for effect, so play around with that. And you can remove certain parts um, of, of that uh, image, so you can kind of fade, fade parts away. Uh, but I'll leave that with you. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial, and good luck setting fire to your text. Thank you.